party y'all and welcome back to my series of hashtag I am abled hashtag I am is able um, I wanted to address why I was a little bit more quiet on my Facebook my Instagram uh, a little bit on YouTube but you know YouTube I don't know how much is going to enter into this series as it is but definitely Instagram and Facebook, I was a bit more quiet this last week. Uh, there are two major reasons for my lack of postings. Uh, the first of which I already did post about on Facebook earlier, um, I believe Monday. And that was a very bad pain setback uh, that was caused by my cold that I addressed in the first video that I posted about my series. Having to keep my neck in a very stiff position, all the sneezing and things like that, it really set my, my neck back in recovery quite a bit. And so posting anything was very difficult. Even sitting in front of a camera like I am right now was a painful proposition. So that was part of it. Also, like I touched on in the first video that I posted, uh, my fear about having a good day and then suddenly having a really bad day, well, it happened. Uh, I had a really bad two days. But secondly, uh, a reason why my posts may have gotten a bit quieter, different. Um, maybe it didn't, it didn't seem like it uh, to, to the readers of my posts, but it sure felt like it to me, was that I made the bad decision of going on my YouTube and looking through my years and years of YouTube videos. I was legitimately looking for one video in there that was way back when, but the bad thing about me doing this was that I looked at how many views per videos I was getting. I was letting myself tally how popular I was how worthy I was. And after about 45 minutes to an hour of this, I let myself believe that I was not worthy to be making videos. Why bother? Nobody watches. Uh, just my friends and family. Presume that all of these are in quotes, please, because these are the thoughts that were invading my mind that day. I have prayed over these thoughts, and this is the first time I'm actually saying them out loud to you, so please understand that now, after prayer and after much encouragement from many people over the past week and a half since I posted my video and posted the first uh, hashtag, I am abled, hashtag, I am is able. Uh, I can now see that these negative self thoughts were not were not pleasing to God and were not true. First of all, even if the only people watching these videos are my friends and my family, you are worth posting for. I love you guys, and I don't get to see you all enough, so. I am glad to have this way of reaching out to you. But most importantly, when I was really thinking through these things, I was also getting a lot of text messages and Facebook messages, and I believe one or two Instagram messages in there too, with scripture verses that really tied in to I am abled because I am as able. I can't uh, bring them up uh, at this very moment, but I do know that um, they, they really helped because it wasn't just something that I was doing for me. This is something I believe is scriptural and right and true, and we are supposed to think on things that are true, honest, just, pure, lovely, if there's any virtue, if there's any praise, 
that we're to think on these things. And that's what this series is. There, there is truth. There's honesty. And hopefully there's virtue and praise in this. Um, and sometimes it feels a little defeating when things are really great and then things are really bad. And I don't want to stop being honest about that. I don't want to be fake just because I want you to think that I'm strong because I'm not strong. That's the point of this whole series. I'm not, but God is. I kept remembering all weekend long that Sunday school song. We are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. I have no voice. <laughs> I'm still getting it back. But um, I kept thinking about those lines of we are weak, but he is strong. And, and God kept telling me, you know, reminding me that, yeah, I am weak, but he is strong. And that's the point of this series. And so this video is to be honest with you about what I'm going through, about my weakness, but his strength. I seriously wondered about whether or not I should be doing Cup of Cheer this year with how things are going with my health, with my mom's health, with all the things that are changing around here constantly and our dogs and whatever. But who am I fooling? It's always weird. It's always different. Um, there's always something that's trying to stop me from doing this. And even though I don't feel like I have a lot of viewers out there, there are still people that send me messages every year saying, I'm glad that you're doing these videos. Keep it up, please. Or I watch these with my kids every year and I look forward to them. And I, I'm so blessed by all of those comments. I'm not saying I need every one of you to go out there and now pat me on the back with words of affirmation. <laughs> no, but I'm grateful for each one of you that feels it put on their heart to do so because it has helped me to really search my heart about continuing these things and it helps me know that I'm doing the right thing, that I'm walking in the right direction and uh, it even helps in my recovery, I think, in a bit because it gives me something to do and something I can do. So I have worked on a few Cup of Cheer videos this week despite some of my pain setbacks, uh, mostly on my good days, just like this one right now. And uh, hopefully you'll be seeing those videos fairly soon. I would like to have those better edited, so probably closer to December 1st rather than Thanksgiving, but we'll see. Um, one thing, though, that is something I would like to address just a little is I am very self-conscious about how my brain works when I am having a pain setback and I am needing to have pain medications. So here I am being honest. Um, it really makes me want to not video anything when my brain is compromised by pain and by medications. So please understand that with my recovery, I will be on, be dealing with pain and with medications and that will make me sometimes talk slower. It will make me have more pauses, more ums, and likely make it less possible for me to edit those things out. I might even forget things I said beforehand and repeat myself. My videos will probably be longer, but please bear with me. I appreciate you coming along in this journey with me, and I hope that you are having a lovely Thanksgiving week. I know it's not quite Thanksgiving week yet, but, you know, it's coming up soon. <laughs> Tomorrow is technically a week before Thanksgiving, and depending on when this posts, might already be a week before Thanksgiving. So I hope that you and yours are having a very lovely and blessed Thanksgiving time and soon to be Christmas time. So that's all for now. Uh, I hope that you are blessed. I'll talk to you later. Ciao for now. Bye.